Hey, what's up everybody? My name is Vinny. Good morning, afternoon, evening, middle of the night, whenever you're watching this. You know, I wanted to do this for a while now, but I just honestly haven't been motivated or really had the time. Lay out all the microphones I have bought over the years and basically do kind of a comparison. Real quick, obviously I'm gonna start the video with the microphone I'm wearing right here. This is the Rode Wireless Go. I gotta be honest with you, when this first came out, I was super ecstatic and I was like, I need that, I want it, I'm gonna use it a million times, I'm gonna use it on every video shoot, and I probably have even used it 10 times. Ugh, I mean, I've done a couple interviews using it, I used it on a short film and I really wasn't happy with the quality of the audio because just we placed this microphone in a bad spot. However, when I initially did a Rode Wireless um, Go test, I was impressed how far I could walk away from the camera and it still picked up, no interference, none of that. So it was amazing. And I guess the reason why I don't use it as often as I should is because I'm lazy. Yes, I just uh, told the world that I'm lazy. I am, when it comes to charging batteries, I always throw it off. I take the mic off and I throw it in the bottom of my camera bag and I'm just like, I get home and I'm in a rush to edit that I'm like, oh yeah, USB-C, I gotta charge it through you know, my computer or my USB hub, and I just, I don't know. I'm terrible with camera batteries and microphone batteries. I wish the world existed without batteries, but it's wireless, so I, I guess I can't complain. And compared to other microphones that we used in the past that are wireless, way cheaper. I think this was $199 when I first got it, so I mean, that was one hell of a deal compared to other wireless microphones out there that are in the 500 to 1000 plus price range. That's that. Enough with the Rode Wireless Go. Let me go ahead and talk about the Rode Mic Pro. This is the Rode Mic Pro. Now I actually got this for free because I entered the My Rode Real Film Competition in 2019 or 2020. I did both and I can't remember which year I earned this, so uh, hopefully uh, it's not too loud here. But um, yeah, so I love this microphone. <laughs> did you guys like that? <laughs> I love this microphone um, simply because you can charge this microphone and what's great about it is that I think I could run like depending on how often I use it, could use it like for an entire month or two without having to recharge it. It's pretty amazing. Uh, as far as like doing documentary film work or shooting an independent film, this is great because you could hook it on your boom pole like I have it right here, you know, just put it out of frame. Hello, can you tell that there's a boom? <laughs> so what I like about this microphone too is not only does the battery last for a long time, but you could hook this up through uh, with your cold shoe mount on your DSLR and you're ready to go shoot events and you have a really nice professional high quality microphone here by Rode. I really like this one. I never had any issues with the windscreen. I don't have a dead cat for this microphone, but eh, I like this microphone a lot. I use this one a lot. Now, let's go ahead and move on to a microphone that you don't even have to charge. This is the Rode Mic Go. What I love about this microphone is that it's super soft. No, um, this actually does not require any batteries. It just plugs in using the 3.5 millimeter jack. You plug it straight into your camera, your camcorder, your DSLR, and you are good to go. And I would pull this out of my camera bag 
plug it in, don't have to worry about levels. I just set my camera to auto limiter levels, or you can go into manual settings and bring the audio down a couple decibels. So in post, you can bring the gain up. This is great because you don't have to worry about, oh shoot, did I charge my batteries this morning before I went on my video shoot or last night? You're pretty much good to go because it is the road mic go the only downside is that when you are shooting outdoors and there is you know wind it is very sensitive it does pick up even with this uh, dead cat but my solution to make sure i reduce the wind noise as much as possible so it includes the the dead cat here and there is a windscreen on here so i can get the two you have the road windscreen and then i'll put the dead cat on it to reduce any wind noises but yeah this is a good mic choice if you don't want to worry about batteries because i hate batteries this is probably the cheapest and the best lavalier microphone i have ever bought in my career of video production this looks like the youtube logo but it's not it is a ripped off of youtube logo and they call it umic and the website's kind of funny too because it's www.umic.audio not .com .net it's .audio it came with this pouch that i've been using since day one when i got it probably about five years ago i got it on amazon for around nine dollars and 99 cents I use this quite often anytime I'm going to do a professional interview setting where I don't want to rely on a shotgun microphone or use a handheld microphone if it's just one subject, just talking directly to the camera or off to the camera. And uh, this U-Mic was probably a really good microphone. Now what's also great about this is that I could hook this into my digital audio recorder, which I'm doing now or I can take this and run it into my Rode wireless setup that I showed you earlier. It's nice that you can just, you know, roll the cord up, throw it in here, you know, tighten up the package, you know, tie it to your tripod, tie it to your camera strap, tie it to, you know, your belt loop, or just throw it in your camera bag. Back in 2013, I bought myself this fancy kit off of Amazon, and I was like, oh yes, it's a professional shotgun mic, and my light went out again. Damn it. But anyways, like I was saying, I got this Vid Pro XM55 microphone back in 2013, and ever since I got the shotgun microphones between you know the last five years or so i've been relying on those and this been sitting down in my basement however i have a video coming up and i might use this microphone depending on how you know it sounds um you know mount it to a boom pole just kind of like the rode mic pro and kind of stick it out of the frame here and we'll see how the audio sounds but anyways, this was about a hundred bucks, but what was nice about it was that it included, you know, the XLR cables, an XLR to 3.5, which I'm using here. And, uh, but yeah, you could also use this as, you know, I don't, I personally don't like watching people doing interviews with a big, you know, microphone like this. It just kind of looks weird. They should just get a handheld microphone if they're going back and forth doing interviews, but hey whatever works for you as long as you have good audio and you can hear it um so yeah a lot of good options today i went over and if you guys like this video let me know what your favorite microphone and what your setup is as far as audio what do you usually shoot is it more documentary work you know b-roll footage and getting that live audio or are you more of doing you know formal interviews or do you just like you know just i don't know maybe you're a news journalist a reporter and you gotta have different audio configurations for different scenarios so let me know in the comment section and thank you guys so much for watching this video please tell me what your favorite microphone is and i will see you guys in the next video my name is Vinny, and i will see you guys next time